All right, and we're just like right around the corner from another thing over here. Oops. Oh. Accidentally did the double the double tap. Oops. Well, that was awkward. The uh the dodge doesn't come up too often cuz I don't melee. For the most part, it's just kind of like a a weird awkward action I don't I don't accident just because I sort of feather my movement a little bit and go like move a little bit then stop to move a little bit but then it's like because it, it, it does the dodge there's been a few situations where like where it gets me in trouble and what's going on around here Like, fans of guns, basically. Any more Second Amendment fans in the house? Huh? Uh. Can't see him very clearly. Uh, any more Second Amendment fans in the house? Huh? Gonna keep saying it the same way. What do you want, buddy? Okay. Actually, hard to see. To what? Gunner! To gunner. You guys sick of him too? Who you guys cooking? Kebabs. Two gunner. I'm on my way, buddy. I want to find out what your deal is. Can't open this door. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of. Wow, those are the good heels too. Just stocking up on those. Oh, here we go. Wait, are you supposed to be DJing? Is he supposed to be DJing and that's what he's like hyping up the crowd, but only his- the music's so quiet that that's all I can hear? Ugh. Maybe this looks better in a different piece of weather. Right now it's just sopping and drizzling and she's like on the ground and it's like feels like everyone's just gonna be miserable right now huh the patriots of 6th street when I think about the best the new United States has to offer it's the men and women of 6th street who I see in my mind's eye all night citizens recognize the name but it is the residents of Vista del Rey who owe a lot to 6th street a lot, if not everything. There was a time when entrepreneurs of all varieties tried their luck in the neighborhood, but most wound up enniless and hungry. Cab drivers, mechanics, shopkeepers, small businesses felt, uh, fell right and left in the total economic devastation that arrived in the wake of the fourth corporate war. As large corporations like Arasaka expanded their business in the area, local franchises saw their customer pool dry up, Nascent gangs seized and controlled the suite, the streets, terrorizing residents on such a scale that even police intervention proved a, a useless endeavor. But then they began to appear, professional soldiers returning home to Vista from tours of duty, though they expected to return to the sound of children's laughter in the streets and the sumptuous smell of freshly grilled scop burgers. They were instead shocked and disheartened by the chaos and destruction that greeted them. And yet, their will could not be broken. Like true-blooded Americans, they took matters into their own hands. They stockpiled Militech weaponry, trained their neighbors as they had been trained, and exacted revenge on the scattered, brutal gangs that savaged their home. So formed the 6th Street Paramilitary Company, Whites, Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans together, in arms, patrolling the streets of Night City together. He said, said that together word a lot. A unified force demonstrating what it means to be a patriot. Their enemies spread baseless slander of theft and smuggling, but they are resilient in both constitution and belief. Proud, young, and eager for a future where the, st where the states once again stand united. They await the day... Someone will bring America from its knees, just as they have done with Vista Del Rey. You gotta fight for something, or what the hell will you know? What the 
hell you want. Is that a trick question? This is a party, right? Invitation only. For those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. Just wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looked like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you? Chum, you're a little tense. Something wrong? Problems at home? Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. Be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my tomb. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah. Lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call it. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust. Do you know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? Huh? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. What'd I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. And the rules of the game? Now, this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. To Gunner, the new boss in town. I like the sound of that. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with Holt's face in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him, prize is yours. Let's shoot this shit out of Holt. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show-off. Let's see what you got. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. All right. So press the switch button. There we go. All right. Ah, I can't pick this up, can I? Is that the prize? Is that the idea? It's weird to have an item right there that I can't pick up. It's unusual. <clears throat> 44 points. That, we'll see. It's really funny. They're like, this is like a fucking block party to you? It's like, Jesus. It'd be less miserable. They'd at least have lawns. And not just be rolling in debris. Oh, I think I see the targets. Yeah. Twelve seconds, go! No, 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 no. Just don't go past the line when shooting. Automatic disqualification. Some of them didn't go away. Maybe it's just like a his aiming struggles with this thing. I'm probably already losing then. Hey, hey, vodka first. Then you blast hold a new one. Oh uh, yeah. A I'm new spring you, catalog. There we go. That was cleaner. Whoop. It's not too hard. I was wondering... I'm not sure what was going wrong with the first time around. I thought I'd landed my shots. So we go around this way. This is a really spread out party. Oh 
my goodness. They get me in trouble here. Hello? Hi. You got 12 seconds. Go, go, go. Hey, throw that line. We don't like cheaters here. Stop, let's yeah, It's pretty easy. Did I already fail though? By missing like two at the beginning? I'm getting like 11 points each, so if that continues, I guess I might still win the next one. Or did I ultimately get all of them last time? The false rumors circling Busan. Conspiracy theorists have recent, have been roused by news of alleged human activity in the ghost city of Busan. Our younger readers may not recall that the Korean city, formerly four million strong, was wiped off the face of the earth during the Fourth Corp War. Unofficial sources out there point at the finger at Militech, whose tendencies of tyranny led to the creation and spread of lab-grown deadly virus. Accident. Experiment. Whatever the truth, the virus proved so... <clears throat> Virulent that the United Korean government still won't lift the strict quarantine on Busan all these decades later. So why do all these tabloid junkies and sensation seekers all of a sudden become so interested in a dead city again 50 years later? A soul-based detective unearthed satellite imaging, uh, unearthed satellite image showing signs of life. Well, technical life, that is, in the form of active machinery. No real surprise there. After all, Busan was one of the world's most heavily automated metropolises. It was a human virus, not the computer variety. Many of the robots go up out their work. Go out their work? There's a lot of typos in this one. Many robots go out their work, their repairs, their trash scoping and sorting. These mysteries. This, these mystery sat images? Just some computers that never got turned off. That's it. People of, the, of United Korea can sleep easy tonight, knowing Busan is a ghost town, in the metaphorical sense only. Not really how I think we're learning this year plenty. <coughs> That's not really how viruses work. Oh yeah, it just wiped out one town, and then didn't spread to the entire world or anything. But also, everyone in that town is gone. It's a complete ghost city. It's like what? That's like what a bomb does on a virus. Maybe I got credit for all of them at the first station. She was just already telling me to stop, so I figured I lost, but maybe I got still One got them. Drink. One more round. If I can find the prompt for it. There we go. Where is the shooting range this time? Oh, Behind me? Yeah, so okay. Warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot! Twelve seconds. Don't forget the line! One to over and you're gone! Da -da 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 -da. I guess I just win now? It's me, the coolest dude. You're welcome. Yeah, I think I got I think I got full credit for the first one, even though it sounded like I was stopped. Guys, it's a shooting range. You're out of shooting range. Aren't you guys all part of this group? They're all like, oh, someone's shooting, I'm scared. Oh hey. You're running tight on gear? This is a North Oak, as you can see. But as many of my clients say, it's better than nothing. Heard you fallen on tough times. Ha! <laughs> That's an understatement. We will be grateful for any support. Need some ripper work done. Uh-huh. Let's have a look then, shall we? It's right here. I might as well take a look. I haven't spent money in a while. Damage done to mechs and robots by 20%? Jeez. That's a big deal. And I don't have anything else in that slot. Immune system? Nothing. Arms? Mono wire. Mantis blades. Gorilla arms. Projectile launch system? You can fire various projectile types. 
So you can just straight up have like blades in your arms. Monowar. Monowar char uh, charges when equipped but not used in combat. Attacks with a charged wire deal bonus damage based on the charge level. No, no mention of like stealth attack or anything. No. Nope. Dismembers people though. Jeez. Twenty armor. I already have ninety there. Nervous system. Slow time effect and increased evasion. Legs. A double jump? I can get- I get to have a super jump? I mean, that's pretty cool. Increased health? I mean, there's 40 carrying capacity right there. That's better. Then increased health. That's also pretty good. One extra ricochet doesn't sound like the best thing ever. I don't know. Increased stamina when defeating an enemy is like definitely a melee spec, because I don't use stamina that much. Increased breach time is also not very interesting. I already upgraded my eyes last time. I mean, having a super jump's pretty good. That's pretty fucking absurd. I'll definitely get you- I'll get more use out of that than any other upgrade. Whoop! As long as I don't get, like, hurt by the fucking jump afterwards. Dude. That will be very convenient. <laughs> Uh, where am I going? Down there. Watch me still die abruptly from fall damage. So many people are cowering. Dude, it was a shooting range. We got the shortcut upgrade. Oops. Is there no visible charge up anywhere though? I'm, hurt, I'm holding space right now. Do you see anything on the screen? I just kind of fly into the air. There's no sound. It's really unsatisfying. Not not even like a Baptiste kind of charge up. Like, like you kind of crouch a bit. Like, like, let me know. Okay, I'm going to press space bar. Let me know when I press space bar. And you're not actually here, I know. But l l try to guess when I press space bar. I didn't. I haven't pressed spacebar. I tricked you. Okay. Now I pressed spacebar. When did that happen? Exactly. There isn't a single piece of feedback, audio or visual, for it. It's like, what? <laughs> Every thing you do in a video game should have audio, audio visual feedback. Let's see. First place by a landslide. Here. Won it fair and square. The hell? Not fucking possible! Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. You know, Sixth Street could use a few more shooters like you. I'm sure Gunner'd like to meet you. Take you under his wing, probably. I'm flattered, really. But I gotta say no. It's not for me. Understood. We had a little fun today drank together but I see you on the street later it won't make no difference you're either with us or against us I'll keep that in mind and for the winner with Gunners congratulations and USA and USA and now let's drink Sixth Street Sixth Street oh an assault rifle that's like one of the specific weapon types I don't really use. Oh well. 
I don't like my current sniper rifle, so I might as well equip this thing. Three, 355 DPS. Maybe I'll suddenly become an assault rifle user. Just because this thing has does scary numbers. Like, scary numbers. Huh, it's a smart rifle. Yeah. It's a little funny, they're like, not possible! It's like, all I did was shoot a bunch of really big posters. Like, they weren't even like, I didn't even have to get bullseyes or anything, I was just shooting the general poster area. Not the most impressive thing. This is a universe where people have auto-aim, and I wasn't even using that. Or... Does... I think, I think auto-aim might only work if you have an auto-aim gun, I guess. But you'd think that all the tech people have, the people who just install auto-aim on their body. And not need the car to have it. Anyway, that's that. There's something hanging out over here. Let's get back to my car. We just met a new faction that I'm sure comes up in other contexts. You're either with us or against us. Like, that's kind of a fucked up approach. It's like, I... When he said uh, it, it won't make a difference if I see you in the streets later, I thought he meant, like, if I'm a member of one of the gangs that they're fighting or something. But he just means, like, in general, like, if you just existing is a problem, it's like, what? There's a whole city of people around here, dude, that are not in your faction or the gangs. That's not how this works. You're either with us or against us only exists on battlefields, which this is not exactly... Shit! Well... You guys saw that, right? That milk carton came out of nowhere. Anyway, I'm fine. Everyone's fine. Warn you. Brother's a cop. The brother's a cop! That guy didn't even react when I plowed into him at full force. And thankfully I survived, so... Oh well. Just cost me one of my drink, one of my healing items that I have more of than ever, and now they are 50% more effective. Hey, how's life in NC? Getting any sleep? Because I'm not. Not when there's money to be made. So listen, one of my people, name's Juliet, was supposed to deliver me some precious data. Never made it. Getting total radio silence. Check on her, will you? And, uh, don't forget the data. Specs attached. Check in on her. How you doing? Hostile area? Oh. So much for just checking on her. I'm sorry. Jules, please forgive me for how I'm doing this. I'm nowhere near as tough as you, and I can't pretend to be anymore. I hate to say it, but there's no helping Rose anymore. So at least help yourself before it's too late. If you change your mind, I'll be waiting for you at the Sunset Motel. Think on it again, please. Always yours. Sigh. What situation is Rose in? Test results. Rose Horrigan. Lots of stats I don't know. No medical consultations needed. However, regarding the patient's worsening state of mind, psychological consultation is advised. So her stats were okay, apparently, but if a bit exceeded... Their problem was psychological. <laughs> if life's taught me one thing, it's that a safe's a good spot to hide your valuables. It's got a reader, too. Must be an access yard around. Huh. Interesting. A safe behind a painting. A little cliché. But hey, at least the Merc appreciates the arts. You could learn a thing or two. I'm wondering more how it ended up on the ground. Juliet must have been in a hurry. Yeah. Something twisted happened here, V. What? The safe was behind a painting? But it's like horizontal, right? Like left to right? 
how was this? This is the safe, right? How was this behind a painting? There's a neon flamingo here and a plant. Those are for being seen. Why would they be behind? Why would those be behind a painting? Uh, I'm not sure. I agree with the data here. That the, <laughs> I don't think the environment supports what they're saying. It's kind of like they just threw a safe on the ground. I just threw a painting on the ground to be like, that's the explanation for what's going on here, and then didn't check to see if there's actually a place for the painting to be. He sure has a lot of repeating copies of the same books over and over again here. We're getting outside of my, my power level here. <clears throat> Camera, turn off. Okay. Messages from Rose to Juliet. Julie, oh my god, it's been ages. How's life? Guess I'm writing with something on my mind. Remember when we were kids? We played on that old do that old dam? We'd shout our names, some other st stupid stuff, then listen for the echoes. How our voices carried through the valley. Sometimes I still feel like I can hear them. Different, strange words. Like returning from a long trip out of town. Funny, right? I don't know, Julie. Truth is everything. Truth is everything is going uh, is off. The oh, truth is everything's going off the rails. I feel worse and worse. Losing my job certainly didn't help. And what the hell was that new cyberware for, huh? Ugh. I hope I'm not scaring you or asking too much. But was just thinking how nice it'd be to hear your voice. Not just some echo of it. Maybe that's what I need right now? Rose. Hey. Rosie, uh, of course I remember the dam. Even the time we tried to kick that old gonk Benny Dillard and his drone off of it. And yeah, I did hear about your job. I'm really sorry. That sucks so hard. But listen, I've been talking to Sai, and we agree you should stay with us for a while. At least until you feel better. Come on, just like old times. Julie. I'm starting to like this less and less. Let's stay on our toes. From Victor. Miss Horgan? I'm happy you turned to me, instead of those clean-cut scam artists. But I am sorry I don't have any good news for you. The symptoms you describe indicate a serious disorder that will continue to progress regardless of the next steps taken. In cases like this, I'm afraid no level of help you give your sister will do much good. The only real cure is one of the two max tack ways. If you understand my meaning. It's good you reached out to me, but it's best if you contact them next. The quicker they get on this, the safer it'll be for everyone around her, including you. Victor Vector. Julie. Since yesterday, Rose has called me 40 times, but all I ever hear on the line is erratic breathing. And I never get a response when I call her back. Do you know what's going on? I'm really worried. Love, Mom. Hey, Mom. Everything's alright. You know Rosie. When you have a hundred implants like she does, chances are at least one's got a chip loose somewhere. Don't worry about it. We've got everything all under control. Love you, Juliet. She's dead, isn't she? El Capitan. So that's who sent me here, right? Julie, is all okay? Been a while. We talked last. And I got a few jobs I can't trust anyone else with. Plus, there's still the matter of Mr. KT's data. Right back quick. Time ain't on our side on this one. El Capitan. <clears throat> you know what? Let's turn on this camera. What's this see? Hmm. I thought she might be down here. Oh. There's Rose. Let's get a breach out of the way. There we go. Oh. Uh. No, I don't really want to disable the camera. I'm using it. Was 100 implants an exaggeration or are they mostly internal? She's struggling. Hmm.
Now I'll turn it off so it doesn't report me. I think she might have killed Juliet. That boats poorly. Can't just like lockpick this with my exceptional technical skill. That's where I'll be finding her. Maybe I can disable her? But things are a mess right now. Definitely should be more worried if she is just uh, calling you over and over again like that. But I think Julie knew. I was just trying to downplay it to outsiders while panicking inside. Better look around. Holy crap! Is it pharmacy. Didn't even know this stuff was still on the black market. All these pills are downers. They're what you get if you can afford better. Hell of a lot for one person here. They said there was two ways. And they were, they were talking about the medical... The pharmaceutical group that makes my healing item, I think. I think they're what's doing. They're, I think they're saying you can do this one of two ways. One, you can continually sedate her to, to keep everyone safe. Or you can sedate her so heavily that you kill her with an what overdose. This reeks too. Usual hallmarks of a merc's room stop there. They called one of the pistols the Achu. Comic collections. Are they dead in here? Hmm. Almost completely used up. Not something you'd keep in your medicine cabinet. Oh, shit. Someone took a nasty hit on this. Signs of a struggle. To put it mildly. Yeah, that's a struggle. That's not just a hit. They were against that for a long time and kept, like, swinging and swinging or something. Or scraping all over it. Killers almost entirely used up. Last used three months ago? They've been sitting here for three months? How would you even know that? Last use. Aren't painkillers generally never used? Isn't that how that works? I mean, like, if they're sitting here? I mean, like, if they're sitting around, they were last used never, weren't they? Because, I mean, those ones are pretty bloody, but I think that's, that's incidental. The sandwich should probably be moldy by now, right? I'm out of contact for a while. Rose Horrigan's journal. Respect my privacy. And it soars into me like the parade. My friend, let's fly. Kiss my forehead. Lift me up. Touch the sky. After all, we can miss it, can we, little sister? Rosie is BSO thankful. My beloved baby sister, fucking whore, won't understand it. No. You only listen to Julie. And echo, 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 echo. It says, you have to see the parade in Japantown. Without us, the party burns. To the parade, my friend. Let's fly. Kiss my forehead, lift me up, touch the sky. I will show you how Rosie loves you, 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 there. Do you hear the echo, echo, echo? A long time ago, we dropped a pebble, formed the dam, and counted the fall, two, three, echoes, then four, and waited for the avalanche, five, six, to cover Night City, and you won't have to go to school, seven, echo, echo. But nothing happened. Nothing but horrible silence. It doesn't matter. I have a better idea. We go to the parade. Because the dam is already cracking. The dam is already cracking. Itchy tasty. From Rose to Juliet. Nope. Oh. Yep. Uh, 
They have an appointment with a haircut place. <clears throat> um, a lot of appointments. Ever since August. Oh. How long has she been roaming? This has been a problem for a while now, huh? Oh. No, I think that's going to be it for now. I think we need to deal with downstairs. And that's the concern. If I can hack her, maybe I can disable her eyes and then t knock her out, but that'd be lucky. If that doesn't work, then she's probably gonna have to die. Reboot optics cost 12? Shit. Friends can't keep me here, they said. Gotta, gotta leave. Has the, has the parade started? How rude. I'm not allowed to sneak up on her, what the fuck? That's not fair. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. So you don't fight her. <laughs> Holy crap. Did I, uh... What difficulty is this quest? Did I, uh, forget to check? <laughs> Oh wait, I think it was like a mystery quest when I drove up. Holy crap, point blank shotgun did like 1% damage and I'm not even allowed to sneak up on her. Like the feet, the, the prop doesn't come up. I didn't even know that was an option. That's kind of a dick move, honestly, if that's an option. Oh, very high danger. Oh, bad. Oh, that's not good. Shit, I'll try to beat it because I've already invested a lot of time into it, but shit. Kind of fucked up that you can't even do sneak attacks on her. I guess it's because she's a cyber psycho, so stealth doesn't work on them. Fuck you if you specialize in stealth, I guess. I want to get to that ship, I think. Just see where she goes next. Friends, oh, I think that's her. That's probably her. Illness diary. High temperature, migraines, difficulty speaking. Delirious again. Some improvement. Rosie isn't complaining of pain. She's eating and talking normally again. Maybe the pills are finally working. An attack. Acts like nothing happened. Sai's arms are broken in two places. Gave her a triple dose. Calming after an hour. She doesn't remember a thing. Sai, that saint of a man, lied and said it was a hit and run. She's back to normal. No more pain. She even made his breakfast for us. Christ. Even though these pills are draining our bank account dry, they're at least doing the job. Just need to maintain a higher dose. Rosie is back to herself, and only once did I think of her. I heard her talking about it, talking in an empty room. As long as she's not hurting anyone. Another attack. I had to give her four times normal dose. Why do I bother? I can't do this anymore. You know, she's literally attacking people. Like, this is fucked. Sheltering is one person, but once the person breaks your arm in two places, it's a little harder to commit. Are we in combat right now? No? I'm a little unclear. Do I have the chip now? That was the illness diary, wasn't it? Oh. Okay, we got it. Can't have bad luck all the time. Okay, we made it. 
shit. She's not even locked in there, though. Like, she could get out. It's kind of a problem. Better pistol? For level 27 people? Oh. Boy, was I not supposed to be here yet. Wow. Okay. But stealth saved the day. Hey, maybe I'll get a lot of experience. Huh! So are we going to report this to anyone that might help? <clears throat> Even maybe the the woman that I'm report helping with, with all the other Psycho Psychos? Granted, this one hasn't been taken down. Or subdued in any real way. I just stealthed in and out real quick. It's a good thing I was able to get away with, uh, stealthing, because holy crap, I could not fight her. Not unless her AI glitched out, which, you know, possible. Might be able to set that up. What happened to Juliet V? Fuck. She never mentioned she had a sister. It's a crying shame. Thanks for grabbing that data, V. Gig's closed. I'll, um, I'll be in touch. Nope. Got another level. Let's maybe take a closer look at, like, what I'll get if I level up. Let's see. Leveling up the attribute. 16, 18, 20. I have most of those ones. Related attribute. Where that requires level 20 cold blood, but the leveling up the attribute gives me new abilities. Is it 14? Get a stack of cold blood for critting. Get automatic cold blood when you get low health. A few different things going on there. a bit of a commitment. Immunity to poison. Upon entering combat, crit chance increases by 25% for 7 seconds? Wait. Holy crap. That's a strong one. A beginning of combat effect. Holy crap. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Alright, I need to be a little more careful with the difficulty of the things that I find very high. Huh? Oh boy. The beast in me. Visit Claire at her garage during the day. If she's the, uh, oh. That's, I don't know if I want to do racing right now. She's the one that wants me to do racing. Moderate. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's do something a little more chill after that one took me into instant death territory. She wasn't just a cyber psycho. She was the most dangerous one we've ever seen. It's the ones that sneak up on you that are real dangerous. Excuse me. Just driving like a fucking lunatic. Just having a normal one. Ooh. 
Getting some shuddering as it tries to load ahead of me. Drive fast, but not too fast, or the game will be like, Yo, bro, slow down. I can't load that quickly. Oop. Oopsie. Sorry. Thankfully, Jackie's bike seems completely invulnerable. I wonder if vehicle damage is normally a thing I have to worry about more. Probably, because our vehicle got damaged at the beginning, and we had to wait for it to get repaired. They just don't want to break Jackie's bike, which just makes it the best vehicle, then. <clears throat> See you around. And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Are you the quest guy? Maybe. I don't know what some of these last two are. What do you think? Get a beer here. Lothbrock, maybe. Sorry, boss. No beer here. What do you got? Maybe something apricot flavor? Some people say this gives them hiccups, but they lie. I never had. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, could you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right. Follow me. They about to steal your bike? What have I just been volunteered into? You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? A new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Cedar Tech. Bitch just leaves, doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? It says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, and you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's offed already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. Just between the two of us, you're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold. Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neuro stims. Not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. 
Will do, boss. Thanks. Man. <clears throat> I thought I turned it all the way up. Is that as high as it goes? Uh, video? No, graphics? Gameplay? Sound, I guess? Subtitles. Background. Oh, there we go. I thought I turned that up. Shit. It is hard to read when it's bright. I thought I turned it up before. Maybe not as much as I thought. Or maybe it reset. But when you're in these, uh, these bright middle of the day situations, did it save? It's so fucking hard to read the blue text. Is it better now? Is it smell? Is that That's better. Wait. Dish soap? Ah, specialty of the house. My little apricot surprise. When she ferments right, she's actually a local favorite. Don't think I need much from him right now, though. That's interesting. I was like, uh, I don't, I'm not super comfortable with how this is going to go if this escalates. Like, he's pretty full of shit, and the corporal stuff's pretty full of shit, but at the same time, those guys were, like, extra full of shit, so I definitely wanted to stop them. Because the way that they're taking out their frustrations is just ineffective and bullshit and society damaging in a way that isn't helpful. Yep. And click. Maptan Pelan. Wait, that's the main. Oh, that's a main story mission. Side job. But I was definitely worried that, like, if it escalates, I'm like, am I gonna? I don't know if I'm ready to murder these people over this current predicament. That seems like too far. But maybe I'll just punch them. But then I was like, are they gonna? They're talking about how I'm gonna die with them. Like, okay, they're. It's a little much. That went from bike stealing to me dying. I'm kind of worried they're going to pull guns, and that's going to be hard to get through in a non-lethal sort of way. But then they just ran away. I wonder, maybe that mission, maybe that's a conditional thing where if you're famous enough, they're like, oh fuck, it's that guy, and otherwise you have to, re to resolve it differently. Or maybe that mission only unlocks once you're famous enough that they'll run away. Because maybe it's tied to your, your growing fame. Still, they're like, people know who I am. They know I came back from the dead. They probably know... They apparently know about a bunch of the different things I've done. They might know that... I, they probably know that I'm the one, the one with the relic in me. Like, that's... This has to backfire, right? Like, me getting more and more famous is just such a bad idea. Dude, it looks, it looks so weird being in the middle of the day in a cyberpunk setting. It's like the- I said it before, it's like the Kamurocho thing, where playing Yakuza during the day, it always feels like the roaches are gonna scatter and stuff, like this is like... You're seeing- you're seeing Kamurocho at the wrong time of day, and, and it's like it's not the real one, almost. <clears throat> and Cyberpunk is so inherently nighttime oriented in many cases that... A lot of movies, uh... And other fictions that take place in Cyberpunk settings are completely nighttime, like I think Shadowrun often is. The games. And I think the first Blade Runner might be all nighttime, the second one less so, or something like that. But, uh, it definitely looks a little weird. But obviously, once we're out in the Badlands, or where, I, where we started the game, or what, if that, was that called the Badlands? I think so. It'll, that's the only way it, it'll look normal. Hey, V, I heard some soldier just open fire on pedestrians at the pier. Oh, it's one of if these. If you can swing it, I want him stopped, but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck. This here uh, motorcycle is just fucking floating. No, oh, he's way at the end of the pier. Grimy. Grimy. Who said that? Oh, hi. Oh. Take what? With R? Oh, the body. Oh, fuck. That's not... Jesus. Express yourself a little bit better in the future game. Sophia. Oop, there she goes. Suddenly, there's more motorcycles around. But only when you, when you don't get to see anyone driving them. That's a little weird, isn't it? 
Dan and Dr. Carl. Check this guy out. Just found him. Borg to the max. Barely breathing. Pick here. That's third gen corpo cyberware. Keep him alive. Why? We're just gonna finish him off. Scrap him down here. No. Don't. That's military grade chrome. Meaning military grade security. Gonna be useless once he flatlines. Bring him to me. Alive. Might still be able to strip that security first. Fine. Put him in the van. Give him some adrenaline and, I and an IV. Got it. Oh, that didn't work out. So they had, they had the chance to kill him, but they wanted to hold him together to keep, so they could keep his tech. Dude, it's so bright. Ah. He has a bit of a range advantage if he has a sniper rifle or something. Have I picked up a better one yet? Nope, just the shitty one still. Mm, that's not going to do me a lot of good, necessarily. Sniper rifle ammo, yeah. But sniper rifle? Please? It's the, the recipe for more sniper ammo. I seem to be heavily implying I should have sniper ammo. That's going to be bad for me. I really, it's really a bummer that I got rid of my good sniper rifle, thinking that the other one would be an upgrade. I keep forgetting that those charge guns, I hate them. I hate every charge gun. They, f they control like ass. I want to shoot when I click. A power shotgun, tactician. Is it better? No. Power assault rifle. Does it really have to do higher damage than my legendary I just picked up? Am I, read Am I reading that right? I just I just got this iconic weapon from an entire quest, but this one I find on the ground's better. No, nope. I said it was better. I thought I had equipped I thought I equipped my my assault rifle to compare them. Maybe not. This shotgun is better. My comparisons aren't working correctly. Or I wasn't doing something right. Got a better shotgun. Alright. And okay, yeah, it does have multiple shots. It's not a it's not a two-shotter. Double barrels are rough. That's a lot of reloading. Dude, they're giving me so much sniper ammo. Why would these characters even be carrying sniper ammo? They don't even be, seem to be carrying weapons. Hideyoshi Ueno and Ken Masada. Motherfucker already killed 20 of ours. What's taking so long? He's hunting us, biding his time. Two, three businesses down the drain because of you. Can't even see him. He's holed up like a rat waiting for the perfect moment. She's just right. She's perfect. You'll see. My fucking ass. What are you waiting for? Draw him out, you leadheads. Use, him, use her as bait. Understood, boss. We'll set a trap with the daughter. And, his, and this fucker once and for all. It's not about the daughter anymore. It's about revenge. Remind him the girl's all that matters, you dumb sacks of shit. When he pokes his ugly head out, we'll nail him between the eyes. At least he's using his head, unlike you. Yesterday I heard the grass rustle in the wind and thought he was coming to burn down my house. I can't live like this. Oh. This is an ongoing problem for you. If you were alive. Dude, there's like build up to this. This is neat. Hostile area. Okay, that kind of gives away the escalating threat a little bit. There's just like a, a clear designated zone. What? He's gone psycho. 
Wait, what? There's people here? Wait, we got, I got this far down the, the, the pier and there's people here? Why didn't they run away? Why would they not have all run away? Why are they all here? There he is. Weapon glitch let me get in range. There we go. He's doing alright. He's doing alright. Give me that give me all your guns real quick before you do something else. Well, this thing fucking ended him. All that build up and I just fucking sprayed at him with my vague don't have to aim gun and headshot him like crazy. You want a truce? We want a truce. Interested? I want my daughter, and I'll get her with or without a truce. We made a mistake. We want to give her back. Damn right you did. When and where? Pier in Pacifica. We leave, we leave the girl, and we go our separate ways. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Don't make me look for you. Oh. It was a trap, and it didn't work, like, at all. You holding in there? He's holding in there. He only took, like, 30 headshots. That's fine. He's fine. He's fine! He's fine. Everyone has sniped... Okay, that guy has shotgun ammo. That is a slightly different amount of type of it. Like, there's a lot of people that had, uh, had had sniper ammo. I'm like, that's weird. You definitely don't have a sniper rifle. Why were you carrying ammo? It's not like arrows, where it's like, oh, they were shot with arrows, so they're carrying arrows. <laughs> like, that makes sense in a lot of games. It's like, no, they're, if they're shot with sniper rounds, they don't have sniper rounds for me to pick up. That's That'd be fucking weird. So many messages. Wasn't easy, but I managed to keep him alive. It's pretty easy. Glad you made it out in one piece, and left our guy alive too. Too bad NC's Apex Predators already sniffed him out, meaning Max Tech probably... I uh, mean Max Tech. Probably best if we get out of their way this time. Tigers took a liking to the girl and decided to turn her into a doll. Big mistake. Little did they know her daddy was an ex-Special Forces, Wasted no time hunting their sorry hides down. Only option they had left was to lure him into a trap. Bigger mistake. Don't underestimate an ex-commando who wants her do his daughter back. He hunted every last tiger as easily as if he was a goddamn s on a on a goddamn safari. I, I assume that the daughter is who we found in the in the van downstairs. Gangers picked the wrong chum to fuck with. Was he even a cyber psycho? I'm confused. He just wanted... He just wanted his daughter back. He seemed pretty... He didn't... Nothing about what we were presented with gave... Was evidence of cyber psychosis. It's just a vigilante. Not even a vigilante. They're literally... It's their... It's personal stakes. Like, reasonably understood personal stakes of they took my daughter, I'm going to kill them all now. Like... That's... I mean, it's certainly not pacifism, but it's not, like, cyber-psychosis. There are things between those two things. I don't know about this diagnosis, man. I feel like people are getting misdiagnosed with cyber-psychosis. Or the game just doesn't bother presenting enough information as to why they're supposed to have cyber-psychosis, because I'm sure that if the game says they have cyber-psychosis, they probably have it, because the game is written by the people who made the entire world and know the truth. But I still have misgivings here.